So what are actual seed oils? What are the oils that you want to avoid that you keep hearing people talk about that are probably responsible for most of the degenerative Western disease in this country over the last 50 years? Here's the evil six. Rice bran, canola, sunflower, grape seed, sometimes also called rape seed, although that might be canola. Canola, rape seed, and grape seed. It's confusing. Just avoid all of it. Soy, corn, safflower, cotton seed. And even nut oil, like walnut oil, uh, peanut oil, things like that. Just avoid them, okay? They're highly inflammatory, very fragile omega-6, and likely already oxidized by the time they get to you in a bottle or in a restaurant fryer. Then you take into the fact that restaurants don't change out the fryers as much as they should because that'd be too damn expensive. And so you're literally getting oxidized oil that's being cooked and oxidized and cooked and oxidized at high temperatures for long periods of time, and you're not even getting fresh, less oxidized oil in there, okay? So if you're eating at restaurants, though, you're not... This is everywhere. Like you're not gonna avo avoid this if you're eating at restaurants. Huh? You could maybe say, cook my food in butter. Like maybe the chef will do that. A lot of setups, it's not even viable. They put it in salad dressings. They have a bottle of oil. They sprinkle on everything. It's absolutely bonkers. And if you look at the trends with people eating out and how that's gone up, you can also see obesity going up right with it, right? Now let's look at the oils that are good to eat. Ghee, beef tallow, butter, olive oil, coconut oil, and avocado oil though, Use avocado probably the least on this list. Uh, butter, not great for high heat cooking, but really good for medium cooking and basting things and for baking, stuff like that. Also just melt some of it and just put it on everything. I mean, literally it's a superfood. okay? Olive oil, you could cook it, I guess. You're taking a risk there. I don't know if it's worth it when you have all these other good options. Uh, it's great if it's a really high quality olive oil. Most olive oil is like a scam and it's mixed with other oils. So I'd be very weary of using olive oil if it's not from a trusted brand. And anything that's like bulk or cheap or whatever, probably not good, probably loaded with other seed oils and hitting crap in there. And I mean, I'm, it's literally how it's done. Like, I don't even know how it's legal, but I think they're allowed to have a certain percentage of like freaking, uh, I've heard that they're allowed to have a certain percentage of like soar, soy, corn, and wheat, not wheat oil, it's not wheat oil, but other seed oils inside olive oil and then be able to label it as 100% olive oil. Like that's the type of shit that we get from the USDA and the FDA that allow this kind of crap to go on. Okay, coconut oil, medium heat cooking, uh, tallow, medium-ish to slightly higher heat cooking, and then ghee for high heat cooking. Also avocado for high heat cooking, though again, pretty omega-6 heavy, so like just watch that, right? If all you did for the rest of your life, well, you do a lot of things, but if the thing when it comes to health and oils is if you started eating more from this, and less from that other page, or ideally none from that other page, as much as you can. It's not going to be easy, but try to avoid as much as you can. You will be probably doing the most impactful thing for your health more than anything else you do. That's how important fats are. And it's how dangerous and damaging seed oils are.